It's not good. It's not good. It's not good. Welcome to the Gaming Galleon. I'm Captain Rez. And once again, the ship finds itself in peril. No, it's no Kraken this time. It's no Squall. No, it's tax season. Tax season. That's ridiculous. I don't understand. We're in we're in international waters like 200 days out of the year. Why does this apply to us? But every year, every year somehow, Johnny Law tracks us down and asks for money. And let me tell you something. This is not an easy, you know, this, is, this isn't this is a cheap ship. Okay? Hold on. I broke it down for us. You got, you got four major expenses when you're, you know, running a pirate ship full of video games. Okay? What do you got here? You got a boat. Okay? Now, boat maintenance, that's going to be a lot. Okay? I mean, there's a lot of boats. There's wood. There's, uh, there's cloth. There's people. Uh, there may be one or two other things. I'm not sure. I, I, you know, I don't get into the minutia. Okay, I'm the leader. Uh, next thing, food. Food, extremely important. Where are we at here? Uh, it's just too much. Okay, we're over budget in everything. Games, ale. That also applies to coffee. Which, let me tell you something. When you're crunching the numbers all night, you're gonna be drinking a lot of that. Oh my God, it's incredible. Uh, so it's like, you know, where's the bottom line? Uh, we're dead in the water, okay? Dead in the water. We got about two days until we got to get this money in there. And after I added it up, it's not good. We're clocking in around $25,000 in debt, okay? And if we can't raise it, they may impound the boat. And with it, the hold. And I mean, as much as I love the old galleon, I would probably put it on the chopping block before getting rid of, you know, I don't know, Fantasy Star 4, okay? So, the question is, how do we raise around 25,000 bucks, give or take, in two days? Well, I got to thinking about the American dream and I, I came to the conclusion that there was only one one solution. Game show. Game show. So, I punch in the navigator. Uh, what, what may as well be like Mount Olympus to a young child in the 90s. Burbank, California. And we're headed off to Burbank Studios to try our hand at America's Game... Wheel of Fortune for the Nintendo Wii. Let me tell you something. There's a lot of Nintendo, or there's a lot of Wheel of Fortune games out there, but there has never been a Wheel of Fortune creepier than the Wheel of Fortune on the Nintendo Wii because, you know, this is the world we're going into. And it's not just Pat and Vanna who get meified, okay? It's, it's everybody in there. It's like a whole other world. But, you know, that's what California is all about, right? Hollywood? I mean, Burbank's maybe like, you know, 10, 10 minutes away from Hollywood proper. It's, uh, I believe it's dubbed the media capital of the world, Burbank. Um, and, you know, to a kid from the Midwest, it's interesting because you have to understand that in the 90s, media consumption was a lot different, especially during dinner time. And what I mean by that is, it was almost like you you and your family, now today everybody's got their own way out, okay? Everybody's got a phone. Everybody's got an escape. But in the 90s, it was like you were all kind of funneled in to the same windows to the world. And, and, and dinner was especially like that because you all had to agree on something. And, you know, I know there's some families out there who like to talk during dinner, you know, about their day. But, you know, frankly, I'm pretty sure that, that's just... I, I, I think that that was just created by TV land, okay? I don't think anyone really does that. Or at least they didn't in my family. We sat down, we ate food, and we watched the boob tube, okay? And generally, there were two things that we would watch. 
the number one was Star Trek The Next Generation. Okay? Imagine that. Every day around 6, a. 6 p.m., everyone would sit around the table and start watching Star Trek The Next Generation. Didn't matter if we'd seen it. We watched it. Okay? And that's just how it was. It was something that everybody at the table could appreciate. And, uh, you know, it wasn't like we were totally tunnel-visioned. But I have to admit, some conversations were cut off when the commercial break ended and, and restarted. <laughs> you know, when the commercial break came back on. Now, what about when Star Trek wasn't on? Because sometimes the worst thing in the world would happen and they would change the time slot for Star Trek. Well, the alternative was Wheel of Fortune. And I don't know if you know how to play Wheel of Fortune. I don't know how relevant Wheel of Fortune is these days. It's over 30 years old. So obviously there's a following, but I don't know if that's for an older following. Or if that's just for America. They call it America's show. No, I'm sorry. They call it America's game. Is it your game? I mean, do you feel like you have some sort of connection to Wheel of Fortune? If you don't, well, you're going to be this voyage. We got to get out there. We got to try and save the ship. Uh, fingers crossed. You know, I'm hoping that my my years of watching Wheel of Fortune at the dinner table will help us through this crisis. But I, I don't know where this is going to go. Plan B. If we lose the match, I, yeah, I think we have some old po like Series 1 Pokemon cards that nobody cares about sitting in the hold. Maybe that would... I don't know if there's a Charizard sitting in there. I know we have some sealed Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I'm hoping we could just sell cards. Uh, if that's the case, that's going to be a, I mean, a really sleepless day of uh, you know hitting up resale shops. To try and sell some stuff rock bottom. I mean, the ship will be certainly more buoyant if that's how it, if that's what happens. But I'm hoping we don't have to sell any of our you know booty. Okay, we don't want to sell any of this stuff. We want more of it. You know what I'm saying? All right. So let's get started. Let's uh, let's spin the wheel, America, and let's spin it for the galleon. Wheel of Fortune. For the Nintendo Wii. Yeah, I had to start us here. And hopefully it's not too loud. I don't think it'll be. Let me get uh, my headphones. But I had to start us here because, you know, it's a game show. And you think the Galleon's got cheesy theatrics? Let's wait till I get this guy started. Here we go. Oh my god, I'm sweating already. I'm really worried about this. Oh god, it's... Yeah, I know. It's Wheel of Fortune. There's me on the left there. Yeah, there you go. Alright, it's humiliating. It's Nintendo Wii, what are you gonna do? The stars of our show, Pat Sajak and Van White. Look at him give the brush off on Vanna Thank here. Hold on. Hi, folks. Thank you very much. We have to yeah, split out. up now. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> love that little exchange of theirs. Just another fantastic uh -huh. night on Wheel of Fortune. Get ready. We're going to do a toss-up, okay? All $1, right. $1,000 puzzle. In a toss-up, letters are randomly revealed on the board until someone rings in and solves the puzzle. Press the A button to ring in and solve. Oh. Event event all right. Is what we're I gotta tell you, I, I hate all the tutorials. And here we go. Oh. oh, auction? What kind of auction? Uh, uh, oh no! Let's have it, player two. Oh, uh, come on. What about video game auction? What eBay auction? Player two. Get ready. We're gonna do the two thousand dollar toss up. All right, I got this. The category is around the house. Let's go, Vanna. Uh, when he sits around the house, he sits, oh, oh wait, Bermuda, Bermuda shorts, Bermuda shorts, I got it. Oh, no, let me tell you something, when he sits around the house, folks, he sits around the house, I always love that joke. How 
how many misspellings can I do? All right, here we go. Take that, Vanna. Woo! That's 2,000, folks. 23 grand more, right? $2,000, player one. And there's a great We got to be able to get 23 grand, target. right? Welcome to tonight's okay. jackpot round. To win the jackpot, you must land on the right. jackpot wedge, guess a letter in the puzzle, and uh, then solve it. And here's okay, tonight's right. And then the jackpot. Prize. You won't forget this one. Oh, are you serious? Dublin. What? Get in the action and catch a rugby match. Then head out I'm to sorry, I'm yelling, but I mean, I can't. Famous nightlife. Thousand dollars. I don't really want to sell that though. Rhyme time. Could there be a Just better place work. for us to go to? And our first spinner Rhyme will time. be player one. Uh, all right, I gotta stop gushing. Down to business. Put your. I'm actually. To spin the wheel, press and hold the B button. Okay. Then flick the okay. Wii remote left. I the can't. Higher the meter, stop the it, Vanna. Your spin. I hate all the tutorials. Five fifty. Okay. Five fifty. Uh, go, okay. It's rhyme time. Let's go with a safe bet. Let's do T. All right. Just what? one of them. <laughs> All right, I couldn't change his voice. It sounds like a dork. Um. Eh. Ugh, God, I hate spinning. Eight hundred. Okay. Okay. Eight hundred. All right. Uh, let's do the S. Eh. Just one? What is that? You know, I always, I always go for the. I always go for the little word. Alright, well, maybe it's an N. Oh, God. Let's do a vowel, and let's do E. Player one is going to buy a vowel. Yep, we got two letters for you. Let's get those up there. How is this a rhyme? Let's do N, because I think there's two N's here. Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh! Ooh, the bank oh. It's not good. Listen to the silence. The silence of my feet. These guys. By the way, I tried to. This could be good for you. Twenty-five. That was what I was gonna do. Yes, there is an end. Yeah. Try heard me. Let's have your vowel. There must be some high in the sky. That's it. Don't for solve it. They're gone. Don't solve it. Come on, bankrupt. Decapitation. It's decapitation on the wheel. Yeah, that's right. Sorry, Yuppie. gotta go to the next player. By the way, I tried to. Uh, I thought I, maybe I could make we me's to play against. It doesn't work that way. Uh, I wanted to put in. Abraham Lincoln and Sarek, the father of Vulcan logic, from uh, that Star Trek episode, uh, The Savage Curtain. Want to play against them? If you've never seen it, you got to see it. It's brilliant. It's on Netflix. All right, anyway. What through all this trouble making Abraham Lincoln? I couldn't use it. There is and what? Come on, dude. Go on, yeah. Go on and ruin my whole day. You think? Player three is choosing to solve the puzzle. <laughs> <First> <laughs> <to> the <player laughs> one. Nice mullet. Not only did you win some This was cash, made in 2010. Why does this guy have a mullet? Way. Congratulations. We'll be back. All right, artificial commercial break. But we're back. I think there's many games that you can put in there, but I didn't know, nor did I care. We're here for the wheel, Games's okay? The category. Thanks. Player two, oh, you'll start. Really? I gotta tell you, should I just take a nap? There's not much to do here. Oh, 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 oh! Yes! Oh, I hate you so much! I hate everything about you. Yeah, that's what I like to see. Oh, Blondie here won last time though, so he's winning. I don't know how much money it's going. Trouble! Trouble! Eight hundred. Oh, see, yes. Jack. I love you. I love you so much, pal. 
All right, a vowel for Keep dropping yes, receipts out of my vest. All right. Uh, what is it? Is it things? I should really be paying attention to this. Bankrupt. Oh, come on. Keep it going. There's a chance to score. Big yeah, big. right. Oh, what? There's none of those. Sorry. All right, well, I have to spin. Stitches? Dublin! Come on, Dublin! Come on, Dublin! Oh, this is good. This could be good for this you. This is good. Yeah. This free play wedge will let you do things without any risk. You can call a vowel even if you have no money. If you do have money, right, the vowel we... is free. If you call a letter and okay. it's not in the puzzle, you don't lose your turn. You can even try to solve the oh puzzle. Oh my god. And if you're wrong, you don't lose your I turn. I don't usually like to talk over them, but y come on. I mean, it's free play, Vanna. We get it. It's not like they wrote it in Latin. All right, guess a letter. Uh, I got 10 seconds. Who is coughing? That letter isn't in there, but oh, don't worry, good. you can spin it. The free play wedge right. will not help you this turn, so choose wisely. Come on, Galleon! Should I do a G? Maybe that's the blessed letter. Oh, where was that 35, baby? 600. I think I'm going to go with N. N's probably the way to go. Nope, wow. sorry. Ooh. Are you serious? Not good at this. Not good. Are you kidding on, me? 3,500. There are two of those. I know, all, all you people at home are like, oh, I knew that. Of course it was L. Alright, things. Your player two, your L Light, L sillies, L slippers, L smileys. Uh, Alright, a vowel for you. Two of them. Oh, school supplies. He doesn't know this. I can't believe you got, I gotta wait two guys to go through this. Player two. Yeah, it's not an A. None of those. Dumb. Here's Blondie again. This guy's... This guy's gotten every advantage in the world, and now he's going to win Wheel of Fortune. 300. Ugh. Yes. This makes me sick. Am I right about that? Yeah. This is supplies, right? Maybe it's not. No, there's no P there. School, uh... School, uh... Ugh. Uh, uh, 800. Oh, my God. Not in this puzzle, this sorry. Me? Supplies. Supplies. Yeah, P, right? It's gotta be, right? I'm I'm going what are you J. Going I'm to do, going player yeah. one. I do like spinning the wheel. I got the Wii mode here, so. Could be oh my god. Six hundred. So that's twelve hundred. Yes. Alright, now we gotta get out. We gotta get out. I can't I can't afford the spin. Oh, you gotta stop these guys. Solve. Player one will be School. trying to solve the puzzle. Supplies. Done. Woo! Nice going. Okay. Congratulations. All right, we're gonna stop it there. All right, player one. Yeah. You want a nice chunk Thank of you. change with that solve? We'll be back with more Wheel of All Fortune right. right after this. Yeah, we'll be back. We'll be back after this. All right, I'm back. I'm current. We're coming back. Anybody see the harp? I don't know if that. Uh... Does anybody know if that Wii menu thing stays forever? How does that work? I almost feel like I should turn off the audio. I'll keep an eye on it. Starts going hog wild. We'll. Uh... I'll stop it. Okay, so, hey, look. Even in times of tragedy, you gotta have a little fun. I mean, how many? Uh, college assignments did you blow off to play video games right let's see what's in the old chest in there okay I don't really remember actually okay this is this is weird you know sometimes when you're out there exploring looking for weird stuff uh, the world gets a little serendipitous 
you'll see things that you've just never seen before, and then they'll start to become more common out of nowhere. It's kind of like in GTA 3. You remember in Grand Theft Auto 3, you would get that buggy, and it was like the coolest thing. It was like parked in one place in the island, and you'd get it, and it was like, oh my god, this is so awesome to have this rare car. Next thing you know, everybody around you is driving them. That sometimes is what happens when you're out there looking for booty. Okay, so let's, uh, with that in mind, let's take a look at what we had here. So I traveled all the way out to uh, Lafayette last week, last uh, after uh, after our last voyage. And uh, oh, first mate Bismuth coming in here. Hi, hey, hi, hi, Ginger. Uh, yeah, we're almost done. But if you wanna do whatever you wanna do here, all right. So anyway, where were we? Uh, right, Lafayette, Indiana. And I usually stop there on my way to Illinois because there is it's like a little collection of video game areas, like a, a store in particular. I stop there, pretty good prices, but there's also a Salvation Army. Usually I don't find anything. However, sitting in a grocery cart, I found this. Okay, set phasers on dork. All right, now it's pretty sleek design. You know, I, there's not doesn't appear to be anything very special about this, unless you lived in the time when these were around. This is a laser tag pistol, uh, more specifically a starlight laser tag pistol. Laser tag was uh, this. I mean, you know, photon. You've probably been to like. A mini golf joint where they have laser tag. Uh, this was the first of its kind. This was like the first time you ever heard of laser tag coming home. This was a big deal and it was made by Worlds of Wonder. I believe Worlds of Wonder was a company created by Nolan Bushnell who also created Chuck E. Cheese, Teddy Ruxpin, and the Atari 2600. Atari in general actually. So when I saw this, and I saw it for 50 cents, I don't know if you can see that little tag there, but it's 50 cents, I was like, oh man, how can I not grab this? It's probably busted, it's really weird, there's a couple of, it looks like it took like six AA batteries to run this thing, and the, the battery cover's missing, whatever this thing was, there's like a bulb sitting in there, you see that bulb? Man, do they still make bulbs like that? I have no idea. Uh, so that's missing. If anything, this is a cool cosplay prop. Uh, and it's certainly a real wow factor for someone like me who grew up in the time where we saw these on TV in between every block of, of Smurfs or, uh, you know, G.I. Joe. Okay? So I grabbed this guy for 50, 50 cents. So after I stopped at, at Salvation Army, then I went to the meaty place in Lafayette, which is a video game store. I picked up some stuff here. You know, this is retail stuff. This isn't a, a steal. But all these are pretty good prices, and prices you're just not going to see in cities anymore. Um, but more importantly, there's, they're just cool pickups. So we got Alien vs. Predator for the Super Nintendo. We got this for $8, which is a pretty good deal. This thing runs about about triple that these days, somewhere around there. And, you know, you got to love the box art. I've actually never played this one, but I hear it's pretty good as a brawler. Uh, Super Nintendo is, you know, that's what you want to play on a Super Nintendo is a brawler. So there you go. Alien and Predator beating the crap out of each other. That was 8 bucks. Next thing was a couple GameCube games that we've been looking for. Mario Revolution, Dance Dance Revolution Mario Mix? Yeah, I know. Dance Dance Revolution. Well, this is specific. In fact, this was packed in with a, a DDR pad that had Mario on it. And this, this Mario Mix is all Mario songs. To see this for $4 is, is a pretty good deal. I'm surprised that it was there for that. I've never seen it this low, which is why we grabbed it.
this disc is missing. Lafayette's only an hour away, right? Great. Maybe next time. Oh my god, they didn't get it in there either! What is it with these retailers? Put the disc in! It's not my job to check! No wonder they're selling it for rock bottom prices. Resident Evil, the also called Remake, what people like to call it. This is a remake of the original Resident Evil for the GameCube. Two discs, six bucks is a great deal on it. I've never seen it for less than ten. Not so good of a deal because there's no case in there. I uh, no disc. I cannot believe it. And this isn't the first time this is happened. I just need to start checking. Every single time now. Unbelievable. Do they just have tunnel vision? Or just like, here, sell it. Bye, 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 bye. I, I'm so mad. Okay. Finally, they had some Atari games behind the counter. Uh, these are all pretty common, but what was cool about them were they had the instruction manuals. You don't see Atari instruction manuals anymore. Don't ask me why this one has two Pac-Mans in it and not one. I guess because it's terrible. But it's got the Pac-Man instruction manual in there. The whole bag was a buck. We'll just take a quick glance at the instruction manual. I can't believe that Mario Mix isn't in there. Oh, God. That Resident Evil. I've been looking for that for years. For the right price. This is the one I was really interested in. The other one is uh, Space Invaders. It's got the instruction manual. And then what do we got here? Apollo Space Cavern video game. Space Space Cavern's pretty common. But, you know, you gotta love the box art here. And this is how you could tell all the different game modes back in the day. You know, these Atari games had like 20 different game modes. And like a little, you'd flip the switch to select which one. Well, the only way to really know which one, aside from the internet, of course, is to have this... This instruction manual. Look at the color coding here. Uh, I mean, wow. We balancing our checkbooks here? All right. So that was all. That was $3 for the Atari games, $8 for Predator, $11, and then another $10 for the, the two GameCube games that don't exist, $21. That's retail prices. What are you going to do? All right. So then today... We're talking six days after this little exchange. I'm in a joint, just a random thrift store. And in the kids' section, I had some pretty badass comic books. I'm usually not into comic books, but you're looking at like a quarter of a book here. So as a result, we had to grab them because it was a stack of Alien vs. Predator mag magazines. Which is, it's really weird that we picked this game up. But it, not that I, it's not a huge deal or anything, but... But, you know, for 25 cents, these are all Dark Horse. These are made in the 90s. I, I'm not really, you know, going to worry about holding on to these. I'll probably give them off to somebody who's more into comics or maybe more into art. Wants to make something out of these. I don't know. So we'll see. We'll see what happens with these. Aliens... If you have any comments on any of these, we'll, go, we'll just maybe another eight more. We'll just flash through them here. If you have anything to say on any of these, let me know. <laughs> Ginger's over here freaking out. Earth, Aliens, Earth War. Wow, that's a really cool one. I like that one a lot. Is this boring? Let me know if these are boring. I just think they're awesome. Uh, you know, I'm not going to talk your head off about them. And I really don't know what if they, any of these are. This was, this was released on free comic book day. So I have a feeling this one probably isn't worth too much. I don't think any, comic books just aren't worth anything. You know, you have to be able to appreciate the art to be able to pick these up. They're just, they're, for the most part, they're not worth the paper they're printed on. But I mean, how can you deny that? Look at that. These Predator ones, oh, they're all pretty cool. Only by Dark Horse Comics. So there you go. All right, and finally, so we picked up that stack of comic books, right? 
and then uh, there's also this. It's in the CDs. Ultimate Doom. You know, usually if I, I see Doom on PC, I usually can't let it go. I give this stuff to Patty to swallow. He either tosses it in a dumpster or he, you know, is excited about it. I don't speak PC, so whatever. If I see it for, you know, a buck or something, I'll grab it. And then finally, I'm, I'm cruising around the toy section and in like a bin of stuffed animals, six days later, I find another freaking starlight. Look at that. This one's a little better off. It's actually got the battery casing in there. I don't know if it's corroded. No, looks clean. <sighs> looks clean. Uh, these things are actually kind of uh, in demand. I mean, they're collector pieces. And I think the fact that we're missing that front piece again, that probably doesn't do us well. I don't really, I'm not looking to get rid of these. I think they're badass. I think that these are like, you know, Comic-Con's coming up uh, out in Indianapolis real soon. So we'll probably, you know, be double fist and pirate laser tag dude out there or something. So yeah, crazy. I've never seen these in the wild in my life. And in six days time, we find two authentic ones all the way back from 1984. So there you go. That's about it for the chest. We got these. The second one uh, that we picked up today was a dollar. This is, uh, they marked it there. So both of these for buck fifty total. Twenty one dollars for for me getting uh, keel hauled in 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 um, Lafayette. How many of these uh, comics did we have? Somewhere around what were they? A quarter each. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. What's that? Four bucks, five bucks, something like that. Five bucks. All right, so there you go. That's all we got today. Um, let's head on back to Burbank, California. I think there's maybe like two puzzles left, and then the bonus round. And I think we need to make another twenty grand or so. And that's that's being graceful. So hopefully we can do it. Uh, we'll finish up the game, and then we'll come back to the the mailbag. Please feel free to send your questions. They will magically transport right into the mailbag, and then we will uh, head on over to the uh, what's it called? The IRS office? Is that right? Mail it out. I don't even know where we're supposed to get. I'm just, I'm, I'm just, all I need to do is raise the money, okay? We'll, we'll get the, the bookman to take care of the rest. All right, here we go. Uh, Wheel of Fortune for the Nintendo Wii. Let's spin the Wheel of America. All right. That's all right. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Headphones. And where's that stupid, uh, Wiimote. All right, here we go. Whoa, hello. Good morning. Come on, Dublin. Wow, that was an awkward silence. Uh, yeah, I would have to. There's somebody, what is all this stuff? I don't even know what a prize puzzle is. They added all this stuff in the past 15 years. Oh my god. Unbelievable. He blew it. <laughs> All right, do we know it? Uh, no. Here we go. Hmm. 
900. Um, I'm going to do N. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, my God. No way. Don't do it. Don't take it. All right. Good. If I'm not going to Dublin, no one's going to Dublin. Don't you dare. What? Thank you. Sorry, I guess I deprived you guys of game sound. All right, All right you're back. For play there are two of those. The rest of the vowels are gone. the bankrupt. Uh, feather. Hard feather? Alright, it's definitely feather. So let's spin. Oh my god! Alright, 10,000. Wow, we gotta go for it. Way. So let's do the H. Yes, there is an H. Now, this would be a bit of a gamble, but there could be ten thousand right. dollars under there. So either ten thousand or bankrupt. Oh, right. ten thousand dollars <laughs> if you can solve the puzzle. Oh, I have to solve too, huh? Oh God. Uh. Hard feather. Yeah, I know. I know. Go ahead. Let's see. Don't bankrupt. Okay. Five hundred. Oh, no. what? bad luck. Oh my God. Come on, big money! Ooh, very nice. Ooh, this puzzle is oh. If this guy wins, please. The love guy, banker, banker, banker! Yes! Ah, for your three, the bankrupt got you. All right, I can still get the ten thousand. I wish I could see what letters were used and what letters have been used. Yeah, okay, Player one, right. back to you. Dublin! Oh god, it's so close. Oh god, oh, oh, oh. Keep it going. 300. Oh, wow. Uh, weather, weather. Warm yeah. weather. Okay. Yeah. Hey. All right. Hey. Uh, we better solve it because that's the ten grand. Okay, player one is going to try to solve the puzzle. Woo! Yeah, congratulations. Let's not forget. Seventeen this was also a grand prize puzzle. What do we have, Charlie? Oh, Please, and a trip to the Bahamas. In the Bahamas. We can sell that off, right? People like to go to the Bahamas, right? Oceanfront spa and year-round fun. Ah, I think we made it! Congratulations, you won a prize. Oh, and we're still at twenty grand. As well. Okay, right. Yeah, I know. We oh, have a sure. Commercial break right now. We'll be back. It's gonna be three minutes of adult diaper ads. It's time for the third toss-up, $3,000. Okay. It's people this time. And we'll get it started uh, right now. Uh, 
Indianapolis. No. Grandparents. Great grandparents. And it's player one. I think that pre I think that'll bring us over the top. Woo! That's it. Congratulations. <laughs> We're gonna start That's with me. player one because you won the last oh, toss up. We we got this in the bank. We can easily make another twelve grand. Wait, what about the bankrupt? Things category for this next round. Can I player one? Is can all I just buy a vowel? To spin. I have to spin. See, this is why this game's a harsh mistress. Okay. All right, let's go. Three hundred things. It's got to be plural, right? All right. Yep, we got three letters for you. Let's get those up there. Ba Back issues. Let's buy a vowel. Let's have your vowel. Uh. The. Uh, let's go with the U. One of them. It is back issues. Player one is going to buy a box. There is an E. Uh, okay. Final spin. All right, I'm going to spin it. Each consonant is worth $1,000 plus whatever I land on. Three hundred. Give us a letter. Uh, well, now I don't want current, past, last. Uh, I I don't know. Ugh. There's no L. Former. Uh -uh, sorry. Tissues. Oh. Tissues? No, it's not tissues. Yes, there is an R. Now you have fifteen. Seconds to try to solve the puzzle if you wish. You're gonna throw this on me, huh, Blondie? Color issues? Uh. Uh. Hi higher issues? No. No, next time. I don't know how, is how that would be higher. <laughs> Look, this is a lot of pressure, okay? It's kind of like sitting on Santa's lap. Give me a break. Three. Yes, yeah, okay, brain surgeon. I. All right, no money for vowels, but they can be important. And you'll get the 15 seconds. Player one. It's paper issues! Oh, it's paper issues! No, it's not. Oh, the vowels what are is it? Now. Razor issues? <laughs> Let's have your solution then, player two. You've got it. Very nice. Story of my life. The irony right. of that, that puzzle. Money. Not enough for the win. Yes! Still second place. So, okay, I still win. Those guys are bad. I didn't put him on remedial. This is normal setting. You're the, by the way. winner. Bonus round for you. Alright, we gotta solve this. We're still 1200 short. I don't have $1,200, okay? Good night for you so far, and now we want you to spin That's that That's a lot of Atari Lynx one. games, okay? Here we go. Okay. Okay, I've got your envelope okay, now. Okay, the category go. for this one is I'm actually phrase. usually pretty good at these. R-S-T-L-N-E. Let's start with those letters. Okay, we need three more consonants and one more vowel. I think it's writing in. No, no, no. How much time do I have? Unlimited? 
written by Oh god, I have no idea. Um the Y and the I because I think one of them would be in the second word. Let's see what we've got here. Grinning. Okay, you've got 65 seconds to solve it. Work it out. This is for all the money. This is for the boat. Growing. Growing up! Growing up! How oh, that's a phrase is beyond me! Eat that, Vanna! Ah! Let's see what's in the envelope. Woo! Oh, look at that. We're going to Hawaii for a celebration. Alright. I think that'll cover it, America! Think that'll cover it, Uncle Sam! Alright, we got it. Thank you. Thank you. I love you all. I love you all. Whew. Wow. What a ride. I can't anyone see my hat? Jeez, I need a drink. Woo! Unbelievable, huh? We got through it. She's going to be okay. You're going to be okay, baby. She survived another year from the tax man. Unbelievable that, that that worked out that way. How are we doing on time? We're doing a little light. Uh, that's good because I need a nap. But I think we have enough time for one of your questions. Let me come over here see if there's any here. There may be. Let's see. Mailbag time. Uh... I got one question here from, oh my god, it's Steven. And he says, uh, what the hell, you are a pirate, question mark? Well, yeah. Well, you never seen the show before? I'll go to the show. Let me see if there's anything else here. Uh, I don't see any other questions. A lot of, uh, here's another one from, oh my god, Steve. Who's he talking to? Or is he just talking to myself? I'm talking to you. Who do you think I'm talking? Again, is this who let this guy on the ship? All right, I think that's it. Oh, we got one last one. <laughs> Where's this? Who's this from? Fifty-nine. I'm thinking sixty-nine. Oh, clearly this guy's gonna have something clever, right? He's uh, he just asked, "Are you a butt pirate?" I see my share of booty, my friend. I've seen my share of booty. Okay, so I think we're going to wrap a little early today. What an adventure. Uh, I can't believe we made it all the way out to California on fumes. And we're coming home with buckets and buckets of gravy. We'll spread it around. We'll send it up to those boys who sit up in the crow's nests and swab the decks. Maybe we'll get uh, Ginger, our, our dog here, uh, some uh, gold... Uh, do, do, do gold snacks? What do dogs eat? Steak, maybe? I, I, I don't know. All right, yeah, but we'll uh, we'll spread it around. Uh, we'll get a hold of those guys in Lafayette and ask them why they can't put uh, games into cases correctly. Maybe we'll even hire, uh, I don't know, some goons or something to break a few legs down there. But uh, what are you going to do? Okay, so that's it. Um, thanks for joining me for another adventure. We will sail next week. Thank God. Who knows where, but we know for sure 
that we will do it once again. So thanks again. Uh, we'll see you next time for adventure, for comedy, for mystery, and for a little booty. I'm Captain Raz, and until next time, farewell and adieu to ye Spanish maidens. Farewell and adieu, ye ladies of Spain, for we received orders for to sail out to Burbank, and we may never see ye fair ladies again. Oh, man. I'll tell you what, even as a me, Vanna looks hot. Keep your powder dry, mateys. <laughs>